Okay, so here we are with the VCAS 2021 Maths Methods exam number two, looking at the uh, multiple choice section first up. Um, so in the instructions, just point out a couple of things. Correct answer, you get one mark. Incorrect answer, zero. Here it says marks will not be deducted for incorrect answers. So putting those two things together, um, if you don't know an answer in the end, you should somehow come up with one, even if at the last resort it's a guess, because you don't get it deducted if it's incorrect. Um, and the uh, second last one here, no marks were given if more than one answer is completed for any question. So just be careful with that, um, because on your sheet, that you are colouring in. Make sure that if you've got to change your response that you really erase that very, very, very well. All right. So question one we're looking at here. So period of the function. So we've got a tan function. So for tan, our period um, would be given by two pi on n. And in this case, n, there it is, is pi on 2. So it's 2 pi divided by pi on 2. And of course, if we are dividing by a fraction, we would turn it upside down and multiply. And so we've got some pi's cancelling. And so we've got 4 for our period. All right, the next one, question 2. The graph of log to the base e of x plus log to the base e of 2x um, is identical over the same domain to the graph of one of those. Okay, so here we've got our options have just got one log, so we need to use one of the log laws. And so if we're adding our log laws, say we take these two things and we multiply them together, so that would be like log to the base e of x times 2x, so that's 2x squared then. All right, so let's have a look if there's any of those options before we go any further. And when we look at that, we see option C is right there for us. All right, the next one is a statistic sampling box contains many colored beads random sample so we're sampling here sample 48 so n is 48 um, it's found the proportion of blue so the proportion that's p hat all right proportion of blue is 0.125 in that sample based on the 95% confidence interval. So a 95% confidence interval, so it is 1.96. And the Z values for, I would be suggesting your Z values for 90, 95 and 99, um, you have them written in your band reference. So you've got easy access to them. Uh, based on this, uh, we want to know the confidence interval. All right, so the confidence interval. So you look up your formula sheet for the confidence interval. And the lower edge of the confidence interval would be p hat minus z times the square root of p hat. Uh, 1 minus p hat over n and when we put those numbers in you get 0.125 minus 1.96 times the square root of 0.125 uh, times 1 minus 0.125 uh, over 48 all right and when you work that one out you get 0 
3439. Right, so I'm going to look at the bottom edge of our confidence interval. So I'm just looking at one end. So let's look here 0 0.314, 314, 0, 0314, I should say. And when you look at these alternatives, there's only one A which has that. So I don't need to, in this case, go ahead and work out the top end of our confidence interval. All right, so if there was two alternatives that had that 0 0.0314, then I would go and work out the other end, which of course is very, very similar, just a plus here. All right, but in this case, I don't. So remember, you've got to be efficient with time. So other than my waffling on there, that, that's how we can be more efficient with time in this particular question. All right, question four then. Maximum value of the function. All right, so with this, I would be saying, grab your calculator out and draw the graph because it's asked the maximum value of the function between zero and two. Now, when you draw the graph of the function, which I have done, and that's extremely poor, so let me get rid of that, um, which I've done previously, all right, in the interest of these videos not going too long, I'm not gonna do that. All right, and so when you draw it, you get something between zero and two that looks like that. Now, this bottom edge here, um, is 0 and negative 2, and this other end point, this top end point, is 2 and 0. All right, it's asking for the maximum value, <clears throat> so I don't need to know anything other than where the highest point is, which is here. And so the maximum value is the y value, which is 0. All right, <clears throat> so you need to draw that on your graph to make sure you know what the shape is because the maximum point, it may not necessarily be the end point, it may go up or something. All right. All right, number of number five, and consider the following four relations. All right, so fx is the same as f of negative x. And negative fx is the same as f of negative x. f of x is the same as negative f of x. And then f of x squared is the same as f of x squared. All right. The number of these functional relations that are satisfied by the function fx equals x is. So in this case, what I would be doing is I would be trying this in each of them. So if fx is equal to x, oops, so fx is equal to x, then f of negative x will be negative x. So that's this first one. And that clearly they're not the same. Negative of fx so the negative of fx is negative x, because fx is x, so the negative of it is negative x. And f of negative x, or we put negative x in there instead of x, you get negative x, so that one works out fine. All right, the next one. Uh, f of x equals negative, so f of x, is x and negative fx is negative x. So that one's no good either. And then the last one, we take f of x, which is x, and then square it, you get x squared. And then, of course, attack the other one here is f of x squared, f of x squared. All right, f of x is x put x squared there instead of x, you get x squared, they're the same. So the number of those relations here, relationships, that this f of x equals fx satisfies is two of them. All right, okay, so that's it for this 
video, multiple choice questions one to five, um, more videos on the others.